Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial that some of you may find useful, others of you may say that, well, how can this kind of thing be allowed? Well, uh, it can if it is your own system, and if you're trying to bypass something else, there can be technicalities, but I'm going to teach you how to get past a web filter. Basically, this will work with any web filter that you may encounter at school on a school computer or even a parental control filter that you may have at home. So to test this I installed a basic free uh, parental control filter just on my system to try and run this. Now let's imagine that I was going to try and open up a uh, regular Firefox. So the first thing that would happen Firefox would begin to load up. Uh, no I don't want to bother with that. So with these little things I've installed on here it blocks a majority of sites. If I were to try and go to YouTube, right here, it's telling me right here that it has been blocked. Same with a majority of other sites. Twitter, uh, Yahoo is not blocked. Facebook, also blocked. Uh, I have it set to the highest security level. This filter works relatively the same way as most school web filters would work. So if you needed to access something, then you could. The things you're going to need to get past the filter are going to be a couple little things. You're going to need a little USB flash drive, which I have one here. It's a 4 gigabyte flash drive, at least that's how it's advertised as, 3.72 gigabytes actually. But if we open this up, I've got a number of small things in here. Uh, first of all, I have my portable apps folder, and there's two apps that you're going to need. So this is primarily for Windows, I'm trying to work on a way that I can get a portable version of Tor from Macintosh because that's what our school computers use and unfortunately they're too stuck up to use Windows uh, which although Windows is okay and I would actually prefer they use Linux to be honest but we're gonna take a look at this so a couple things you're gonna need Firefox portable so if you're gonna go and get Firefox portable I can't show you how to get it right now because it's blocked, but I can post links within the video that you'll see later on. So, the apps that we're going to need, once we've got our Firefox portable, we've got a single executable we can launch from any flash drive. So, as soon as we launch this, right now I still had Tor enabled, so here we are, we've got our normal page. Now, if we were just like with the normal one, if we wanted to go to YouTube, still blocked once again. And this, I can see, obviously this would get very annoying. Now before you proceed, since I have Firefox here right now, I'm going to show you a couple things. So you're going to need a few add-ons. So to get these, you need the Tor button, which takes us to the next portable application that I'll show you later. But basically you can find it, just go to Get Add-ons, search Tor, and it will be one of the first right there because I already have it. You won't see it uh, shown up here, but it is the application that you will see called Tor Button. And this is what you're going to need. So now that we have this, we can just go back to our home page because it's being all blocked right now. So now we have the option to come back here. And our other portable app that we need is called Portable Tor. You can just Google Portable Tor and you should be able to find it as the Windows distributable uh, as a binary file. So now what we want to do is we're going to launch Portable Tor. And Tor basically stands for the Onion Network. Uh, so the way that this works basically is it kind of is connected all across the world to different uh, computers uh, called relays that are sending you different IP addresses. So this is actually the same software that some people in China are used to get past the Great Firewall of China, and so you know it's got to be pretty secure then if people in China are going to use it with all of that security you've got over there. So now that we've got our apps going, we've got our two main apps and we're ready to kind of get into some more of the usage of it. So now you should see a little thing right here. By default it'll say Tor Disabled. you got to go over it and click to enable Tor. So right here, Tor is now enabled. And remember before, previously, when I would go to YouTube uh, or any similar site, in my private web browser here, it's an independent open source web browser, Firefox, highly recommend it. Your network can often be slower because of the fact that it's being broadcast across the world. Also, please note the language settings may be different, 
But if you're on a school computer and you want to be able to just check up on your Facebook or something else, just check your YouTube, maybe anything, you can still get right on through without any problems, and it's undetectable. If we were to view the network right now, we can view a total network all across the world of where uh, we're getting all of our different connections from, geo IP addresses, and if we become suspected, we can choose to use a new identity. And so right there, any connections we make from now on will appear to be from a new IP address. So if we were to go to findmyip.org, your IP address is 86, one, and that's interesting because I'm pretty sure that's not my IP address. Oh, yes, that's what we see right here. United Kingdom, right here, and I am actually in the US. This is even a Windows Mobile IP address that is running this. Wow, imagine that. Pretty interesting, huh? But it's the guaranteed way you can get past practically any web filter without any problems. You're going to get a little bit of a slower connection, possibly some different uh, languages, but it's a lot better than nothing, and if you need to get something, so you want to get past a web filter, maybe you just want to do some anonymous browsing, don't want people spying on you, then I recommend Tor, and you can easily find this from the links that I'll have posted below. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you find this uh, tutorial useful. Be sure to abide by any laws that apply to your local location. Thank you, and thanks for watching.